Things working. Hopefully the camera's on. The video I did earlier, I guess in it. I have a picture. I don't know if that was because they blocked it when I posted it or what I don't know. Whatever. So anyway, what's up? Steve here. Uh, I'm gonna go over my newest way to Clear coat, finish uh, a lure fully after you get done painting it. I'm going to show you my way. Um, I have two, four, six lures here that I painted today. So I'm just going to clear coat a couple of those. I probably won't do them all on the uh, camera. Maybe one or two real quick. Um, besides that, yeah, so much fun. So. What I do is I get these brushes from Walmart. They come like this. They're kid, kid brushes. There's 30 in here, 97 cents. Disposable brushes that you use one time and throw them away. 97 cents for 30, you're not going to find any cheaper way to do it. Okay. So, and I buy these every time I go into Walmart, I buy them all up. So I have stacks and stacks of these ready to go. Um, another thing at Walmart, what I buy is these. They're basically uh, sauce cups. Okay, uh, it comes with 50 lids, 50 actual little two ounce cups. Like this. What I do first, obviously, this is a new package in my back of one. Um, is I use all of the lids. Uh, I don't have any, actually, all of them. Uh, but I use all of the lids first. I use those one side. Sometimes I use both sides. I do the first layer uh, with one bait, flip it over, and I use it. I use the other side for a couple of bait. So I get two uses out of that. So 50 lids, I can do 100 baits if I choose to. Um, and then I move on to the cups. The same thing with that. And actually, I just started. Uh, I just started to actually put these off to the side after I get it done, and I'll let this harden overnight, and then the next day I'll use it again. So you can actually use this many, 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 many times as long as you allow the epoxy to uh, to, to fully clear. If you set it to the side and use it in a few days, a couple days after the epoxy is fully clear, cured, sorry, then you can use probably this one cup if you're doing smaller crankbait. You can probably use it times before it's filled all the way up. So depending on how you want to do it, if you want to save a bunch of money, do it that way. Anyway, so as a stir stick, what I do is I cut the back end of the uh, brush off. So there's my stir stick, and I still have a brush. I do that for all the baits. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing six tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all six of these up. It's not like it's already cut. I cut them with a normal pair of scissors. So there's my stir sticks. And uh, one reason I use these, besides the fact that they actually come <laughs> as part of the brush, but they're plastic. There's nothing while I'm staring, staring the uh, epoxy, nothing's going to come off this that's going to get into the epoxy. Like at first, I bought these wooden uh, wood sticks, but then I learned that uh, first of all, the epoxy is going to soak into it, it's going to take epoxy away from you, even though it's not that big of a mouth still. Um, and then there's actually slivers and fibers and stuff that can come off the, off the wood and into your epoxy. So. That can uh, become a problem. 
uh, let's talk about the epoxy mill. The epoxy that I'm switching to, um, I still use, if you watch the first video that I did, um, use two, two ton Dev, Devcon two ton epoxy. Um, you can get this off Amazon, eBay, whatever. Uh, I forget how much it is, probably. Say around seventeen dollars, I think. I don't know. I forget. Um, but this is nine ounces. All the other four, uh, four and a half uh, ounces each outside. So together, it's considered nine ounces. It actually says four point two five, whatever. Um, and this stuff works good uh, for starting out. But I recently switched over to uh, Bob Smith's. Bob Smith Industry, Industries uh, Epoxy. This is the Slow Cure 30 minute epoxy, okay? Now there's a couple different kinds. There's a, like a 15 minute mid cure and then like a quick five minute cure. Uh, there's a few other, uh, he makes all different kinds of that same he because Bob Smith, but the company makes all different kinds of uh, different uh, epoxies and stuff like that. Uh, so you can see I got this from Hobby Lobby, $7.99. But the catch here is it's only half the size of the death card. So it's only 2.25 uh, ounces on each uh, bottle, 4.5 all together. Uh, they do offer a full 9 ounce bottles. So it'd be 4.5 on each. You can find those on eBay or something. I just get it from Hobby Lobby because it's right here in town. And 40% off coupons that train 10 I pay seven So every time I go up to Hobby Lobby, I get one of these 40% off. So that's the new epoxy. Uh, as far as the pros and cons to it, um, compared to DevCon, the only thing that I've really noticed is the Bob Smith comes out a lot more crystal clear than DevCon does. For some reason, the DevCon comes out cloudy, more cloudy. Uh, if you were to compare it side by side of uh, Bob Smith's, if you're doing DevCon, and you've always used DevCon and you haven't used anything else, then it, it looks really good. And there's nothing wrong with DevCon. I'm just saying uh, the Bob Smith uh, epoxy is more. The clarity level is better when you compare them side by side. So, the, so that's a real big plus right there. Um, the working time is about the same. You, you got about five to seven minutes uh, to work with it to, to actually apply it after the day before it starts to get uh, super tacky. Uh, the flow out of the uh, bottles, of course, there's a temperature that you're supposed to work in. And, not allowed to get too too cold uh, or too hot. What I actually just did was I uh, put this on one of my uh, registers for my furnace. So I got it a little bit warm. The flow was really good. That, uh, that's what I've been doing now. So I put it on the register for a couple of minutes real quick. So it uh, flows out just a little, a little bit better. It's not so thick to uh, put a fly in get to the actual date. Uh, besides that, uh, the only other thing that I started to do was I went out and got some uh, stainless steel spoons, uh, measuring spoons that is, so I can measure out exact amounts instead of just, you know, eyeballing it now, which I did in my first video when I first started, that, that's how I did I just eyeballed it and it is what it is now. I'm getting into doing better quality things and higher quality uh, baits. I decided to uh, go out and get some stainless steel measuring spoons. So I get exact amounts every time. Uh, the two that I use is one eighth spoon, uh, one eighth uh, teaspoon. It's 0.63 milliliters if that helps you any better. And uh, one fourth uh, teaspoon. 1.25 milliliters. So I used the, I used the, uh, the one fourth, the bigger of the spoons for my uh, big baits, swim baits that I do. Uh, 
uh, I started doing a lot of swim baits, you know, seven, eight inch uh, multi turning baits. So I'll, I'll use this for that. Turning bait or anything smaller, uh, I use the one eighth uh, teaspoon. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. As far as the baits themselves, uh, one thing I started doing different. So I just painted this today. Uh, I still have to sign it, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I still do this the same way. Throw a small piece of craft, craft paper. So I sign all my beats. The only time I don't sign a bait is if uh, if it's a repaint on something. Um, like this lure that I just did. This is the actual Livingston lure, uh, Livingston T7, I guess it is. You can see that that they're uh, there's signatures still on us so I'm, I I'm not gonna sign that. Uh, size six. All right, so say I just got done painting this bait. I got to apply eyes. The way I do it now is I take a little dab of super glue. Put that right into the eye cavity. you're going to use. In this case, I'm going to put a red eye on this psychotic perch. Get your eye centered. Whatever you want it. And the only reason I use the super glue now is just that extra measure to make sure that your eye isn't going to pop off. There's some baits out there that, that is notorious for where you know the eyes falling off. So I'll go to what length I can to avoid those problems. So there's that. Okay, so this bait is now ready to be uh, coated. Stick. Get that right down in there. Sorry if my hands in the way or anything. I'm just scraping all the drops out of here. Uh, I'm just sticking, scrape all of it up. I'll get that excess out there and do the other half of the pocket.
Now this clear coat is going to have a fleck in it, so I'll go ahead and get that ready. Oh, mix up the epoxy real quick. Now this is a standard thing. When you first start mixing it, you're going to see swirls, and it's going to be a little uh, milky-ish, white. And after you get it mixed well enough, uh, the swirl should go away, and it should be uh, mostly clear. You know, that, that's a standard thing with all the epoxies. Now at first here, there's a couple of spots on this bait that's not going to have fleck in it, like I'm going to do the bill. Um, well, the eyes, I don't want no fleck in the eyes, so I'll go over the eyes real quick. Just mix this up real quick for, you know, 30 seconds real good. My brushes, so I'm gonna clear up this bill for two reasons. Okay, on, on, on some of the blanks that you get, you're gonna have sand marks from when they put the blank together, you know, then they go over and sand it down or whatever. If you clear coat it, okay, it's gonna strengthen the bill and it's gonna get rid of those uh, marks. Okay, I don't do all, all of my bills, but I do the majority of them. So as far as applying the epoxy, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just don't goop it up. Nice, even, light, uh, light coats. It doesn't take a lot. So make sure that you go over and over the same spots. Um, to get all that epoxy to spread out. You can see I'm actually using the bill to clear off the uh, extra that, that I got there. What I can do is I'll apply that around the, the rim of the bill. And I'll do the bottom half. And if you uh, Heat up the epoxy kind of like I did. Don't overdo it because it'll get really super runny. And then when you uh, hang your bait up to dry, uh, the epoxy can uh, run all down to the end. It's hanging at the lowest point. Then you'll have like a, <laughs> a heap of the epoxy down to the end, and basically your bait's ruined. So take a mental note of not to overheat your epoxy if you choose to. I'm not saying that you do, but sometimes that down in my basement gets cold down here. So my epoxies tend to uh, thick it up real uh, hard. So I would like to heat them up for just a quick second and get them flowing right again. All right, so I'm going to put, put a... Just a little bit of fleck in here. Mix it up again. If you notice, I did throw my uh, stir stick away for that very, very reason, so I can go back. Mixing this fleck. Fleck, glitter, flake, whatever you want to call it. All right. Then you just simply go back to the brush and go on. It's really not a uh, rocket science here or anything too too difficult. The only thing that you have to uh, pay attention to is if you're going to want really good lighting in your work area because you will miss places. You won't really be able to see them unless you have proper lighting. Um, I've seen a couple people's uh, videos on YouTube and actual jobs that they posted on uh, Facebook sites for sale and stuff and I can see the dimples throughout their uh, clear coat from um, not paying attention. Another good way to avoid that is do what I'm doing here. Just keep going over the same place back and forth, back and forth. And basically what that's going to do is that that's going to ensure you are getting every single little 
little, little, little crevice spot, and hopefully you want to call it. It's also going to give you a nice even layer, too. So, as you see, I kind of just dabbed it across. So, then I'll go back and work it all together. A little bit more areas that I need it. It doesn't take that long to uh, clear coat a bait. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you'll have about a good five to six, seven knots uh, nice to uh, work the epoxy all, all over this bait. So. And if you move fast enough and you're not, not talking and explaining stuff like I am, you can, you can get the two, uh, two baits out of the same badge easily as long as you move fast enough. Here. See, I can, I can already feel the epoxy starting to get uh, more tacky than what it was when I first started. So that means that I'm ending my year of time and I need to hurry up and finish what I'm doing here. As to order the bait, should, like, should, should you do the sides first, the top first, or belly first? Uh, I don't think it really matters that much. As long as you ensure that you get every part of the bait. Even strokes also avoids the air bubble problem that people kind of have sometimes. I don't think I've ever had air bubbles, or I should say, an air bubble problem. I don't forget the tail, I've done that too many times. So, really, that's there is to clear coat a bait. It's pretty much simple. Um, you can see that those marks that were in the uh, lip are now gone. Uh, to clear coat takes, takes care of that. Um, all right, let me show you this here. If I didn't have lighting and if I wasn't going over and turning this, I'm checking my spots, there's actually a spot that I've missed. See if I can get that on camera. It's at the bottom of that first uh, stripe. It's right at the bottom of that stripe right there. You can see it, but you can only see it when the light reflects it off. That's why I said it's very important to have good lighting. I, I, I have a big uh, 24 inch light that's right here. Like it's literally. Like just like a two foot above from where I'm working, so it works out good. So all I'm going to do is just go back and forth over that spot real quick. Make sure I get that toxic spread over it. I'm just going to turn it in the light again. Make sure I got all the other spots. And then all I do is loosen up my knife and I'll probably Drop the bait. Grab it by the front hook here. Pull that off. Now, sometimes where you had your knife, if you do it like I do it, that front hook, uh, eye hook hanger will fill up with epoxy. 
All you gotta do is just take something in there real quick and clear it up. So that's that. Or if somehow you messed it and it dries, all you gotta do is just take take the gear sharp exactly to it and cut it out. So I hang my stuff up right here, as you see. Nothing special. I don't use a drag drag wheel. Jeez, I'm um, with the with the thicker epoxies, you don't really need a drag wheel. You can if you want. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. I mean, it could only benefit, I guess. Um, but it's definitely not a need. So yeah, I just. Hang them there, and then uh, the Bob Smith epoxy. That's another good thing that I didn't say that I should have. Uh, the cure time was like six to eight hours. Six to eight, I believe. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it's six to eight hours, and then it's pretty much good to go. As DevCon, I think it's more of like a 24-hour period. I think maybe 18 to 24 hours is the cure time on that. So not only is the Bob Smith uh, clarity level a little bit better uh the overall product comes out better but uh i guess the cure time can help too because there's been times where i've woke up in the morning and i come down here i'll clear coat of day and then you know i'll come back later on that night to work again and i got baits up there that are already fully dried that i can you know now put the hardware on and sell them so a good thing. Um, if you see what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of spreading the epoxy the leftover all around, which there isn't much. Throwing the brush away. Now, like I said, if you want to save money, all you gotta do is just put this to the side now and let that sit for a day or two. Well, technically six to eight hours, but I never touch them again until they're super fully cured in my head. Um, and then you can reuse that again. You can reuse the, these cups many, many times as you want. Um, so that whole 50 pack, you can use the lids twice, maybe three or four times if you want to. So there's 200, 300, 400 different things that you can do. Uh, you can use the cups many, many times. So out of this one pack, the sauce cups that cost, I don't know, four or five bucks. Walmart, you can use it many, many times. So, I don't know, that's the cheapest and best way that I found. Um, I think I've went over everything. Um, ice, clear coat, black, pros and cons. I, I haven't really found anything uh, too bad about the Bob Smith epoxy. Um, I, I guess one thing that people wouldn't like or could possibly not like is. Uh, but that's the same thing with all epoxies is the epoxy clear coats are much much more thicker than uh say a store ball lure or um some people do uh automotive spray for their uh, clear coat and it's much thinner um so epoxy clear coats were, are much th uh, thicker so some people might stray away from that but I like them because I do a lot of uh, fishing for pike and muskie and stuff like that. So, in that sense, the thicker epoxy hold up better. You know, um, what else? I th think that's pretty much it um, as far as epoxy goes. Uh, my way to do it. Um, as far as your fleck, a, a little bit goes a long way. You know, to just a couple. Little sprinkles in there, uh, mix it in good, get that extra fine glitter, whatever. Just make sure that it's really, really fine stuff. I think that's pretty much it. I could stay here and keep talking and talking and talking, so I'm not gonna uh, I'll clear coat one more bait real quick and then I got other stuff to do. So I'll catch up with you guys on the flip side. I'm not talking during this one.
actually pulling that cup off that I just used. So I just used this one. I'm just going to flip it over and use the bottom side. And then I'll throw it away. So a friend of mine told me about, uh, I mean, I already knew about it, but uh, Twitch, it's a streaming, streaming uh, program, software app, website, whatever you want to call it. So I think I might be setting up an account, uh, streaming on there too as well. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comments too. I wish this video I'd play back so I can go back and see what I just did. You know what? I'm not entirely sure that I just mixed the both epoxies. I feel like I might have picked up the same epoxy twice because I'm talking, so I'm going to throw this away. I don't want to mess this video up, so I have to be super sure. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to do it in the same order every time, but sometimes I get a little back. Alright, it's definitely a yellow one. These spoons too help you see epoxy. Like I realized that I was throwing so much epoxy right now. So yeah, down in the comments, let me know if any of you guys uh, watch Twitch or use it as a streaming app or anything like that. Let me know what the deal is with it. I mean, I've watched it before, but I thought it was mostly mainly for uh, video games, but a friend of mine told me that like Bob Ross paints on it and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. There we go. Maybe my... Uh, you see that I can uh, come right off because I didn't put super glue on this one. The epoxy card, so uh, that's not going to happen. Normally, that doesn't happen either, but this is actually a repaint, so uh, I had to pry those dots off so there's a you know, adhesive backing on it.
quiet and not really well music. Sucks I can't really play music anymore because YouTube likes to copyright everything and block it. So that's that. Just as simple to uh, finish out a bait. Alright guys, so that's it. I'm done. But for now, if you have any questions, drop your them in the comment section. Uh, feel free, if you ever want to order any lures. Uh, here's some information for you guys, if you can read this. Um, I probably shouldn't put my number out on uh, the internet, but actually I've already had a uh, YouTube person calling me, <laughs> which was kind of wild. Um, but you can order off my Facebook page or what have you. Uh, email me. I I'd rather that you don't call or text me unless I know you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess, I guess if you want to, I'm not going to be like a dick about it. But, uh, um. So if you any, have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Uh, hopefully this video shows up. I don't know why the previous one did. Uh, so that's how you finish a lure. Until next time, bye sticker.